Hello and welcome to day two of 30 GIMP tutorials. Today you'll discover how to change the color of eyes. So if you're ready, let's do it. All right, so the first step is to find an image where you wanna change the color of the eyes. You can either use your own or if you wanna use the same image I'm using, you can find the link to download it in the description below. Now, the first thing we're going to do is duplicate this layer and I want to lower the saturation of this image. It's too intense for this portrait. So I'm gonna come up to colors and select hue saturation. And I'm gonna drop this down to around minus 25. Let's go ahead and add a layer mask. Make sure it's set to white and click add because I wanna bring back some of that color saturation in the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my zoom tool here with the letter Z and zoom in so I can paint that color back. So you can grab your brush tool with the letter P. You also wanna make sure that your foreground color here is set to black. Then when you paint over the eyes, it will bring back some of that color saturation. So remember, with a layer mask, black removes and white adds. So because we are using black here on our layer mask, that is actually removing the saturation edit that we applied to the layer. All right, let's merge the layer mask and the image preview here by right clicking and clicking on new from visible. So that creates a new layer with these two merged together. The next step is to convert this image layer to black and white. So we're gonna go up to colors and select hue saturation again. And we're going to drop the saturation all the way down to minus 100. Now, truth be told, this is not my favorite method for converting color images to black and white. There's a lot of better options to do this. So if you wanna see some additional ways, I have seven tips for converting color images to black and white. You can find the link for that in the description below. Let's go ahead and click OK to commit to this black and white image for now. And we're going to add another layer mask. This time we wanna make sure that we have black selected. So black is going to remove this black and white edit once you click add. And then what we wanna do is we want to remove the color in the eye by painting with white. So make sure you have white set to the foreground color. Grab your paintbrush tool again with the letter P. And then this time when you paint over the eyes, it's going to remove the color and leave you with the black and white underneath. So black removes, white adds. So we're painting with white and that's adding the edit that we applied to the image. Now we're gonna colorize the black and white part of the eyes. And to do that, we need to make sure that we have our thumbnail preview here selected in our layers panel. If you have the layer mask selected, it's not going to work. So make sure you have that selected, then go up to colors and choose colorize. And boom, we now have another color for her eyes. See, let's put this back here. And by default, I have this light blue color. So you can click on this color box here to choose another color. Maybe you want a darker blue or a different color altogether. Maybe you want red. That's a little too intense and sci-fi for me. So I'm gonna go with this darker blue color here. So maybe something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. You can also use your hue slider here to pick a color this way as well. Now that the color of our eyes have changed, we still have a little bit more work because it looks a little fake right now. So we can either lower the opacity, adjust the saturation or both, or what I like to do is I like to use a blending mode on this layer. So for this one, I'm going to choose darken only and I think that right there helps make that color change much more realistic versus not having the blending mode. And of course, we can always come in and lower the opacity some more to adjust the color as needed. Now, if you want to experiment with a different color, come down here and duplicate that layer. Make sure this layer is turned off and then we can go back up to colors and colorize and choose a new layer. How cool is that. I love it. 
All right, so check out that next tutorial there to your left to learn how to change the color of hair. I have some more cool tricks to show you how to edit your images in GIMP, so make sure you check that out. Subscribe, thanks for listening, and have an awesome day.